youth unemployment, funding for small businesses, access to land for farming, affordable housing, and better health care. Those were some of the topics embraced by youth representatives in the ongoing budget consultations designed to get input from every sector of society. The consultations are designed to provide an overview of Grenada's economic performance for the first half of this year and the prospects for the coming year. It is also designed to explain the budget process and solicit the views of stakeholders. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture, Norman and Gilbert believes for the issues to be addressed, there must be a working partnership between young people and government. We believe that it's a very important point that we can gather some important information that would feed government's presentation. And I believe that with today's um, consultation, we'd have a number of recommendations and suggestions coming forward that government can probably give consideration to, you know, to en enhance the, the delivery of services to young people. You know, the, the, the ministry has been providing services through the Ministry of Youth, but of course, youth is not just within the ministry, it also cross cuts through all the various sectors, including agriculture, social, social services, education, etc. So it would be very important to hear what they have to say, and we are very happy that we are able to bring over 150 young persons together today of different walks of life. During the session at the Youth and Cultural Center in Grand Anse, groups were formed and each was given the task to discuss areas of government's transformational agenda. At the end of the discussions, they presented their collective ideas to the finance officials for consideration. Acting Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Finance, Siobhan Britton, said it's about hearing what the youth has to say. In the throne speech, um, the, the Governor General will have listed all of the areas that government would like to focus. It's very extensive. But the five overarching pillars um, are citizenship uh, empowerment, economic transformation, environmental management, um, institutional rebuilding, and foreign policy. So that's the overarching pillars, but there are areas such as poverty reduction, infrastructure development, um, climate resilience, and, and development in our youth skills capacity training, all of those that fall under those umbrellas that government would like to focus on. But the consultation is really about getting concrete measures that government can implement now. We, we know what we want to achieve, but we're, we want the public to really tell us how to help us, to help us figure out how to do that.